Well, there's a couple of different names for this. Uh, the civilized name is milkweed. And I'll, I'll wait till the end to tell you the uncivilized name. So we t often, this is a very important plant, and you can see it's been eaten by quite a few different bugs, and I'm pretty sure most of the bugs that have been eating this are the larvae of the African monarch. Now, plants have different defenses, and this is a highly poisonous plant, and you can see on the, se on the seeds, because that's what these are, all these fine little hairs, and all I do, if I run the stick over there, because I don't want to touch it, because they can be, they're very poisonous, and you see that? As soon as I touch the hairs, they almost, they fall off very easily, and out comes milky latex. Now that milky latex is highly noxious, highly poisonous, and this is the same poison that monarch butterflies get uh, from eating them as caterpillars. Ooh, sinister. Now, once they have protected themselves and they reach full term, they burst open and you have this wonderful soft seeds that are designed to blow in the wind. These are no longer noxious. And here we go. Uh, the first settlers in Africa used to use milkweed to stuff their pillows. It is incredibly silky soft. Let me see if we can roll it into a ball. It's so soft, so pretty. So it is a relative of cotton, but and and has sort of the same sort of attributes of cotton, but it's not. And like wild cotton, and the seeds can be ground up to be used uh, as with other stuff, of course, but as a gunpowder substitute. Now I'm just going to show you how a single seed works in the wind. <laughs> this is too quick. Let me go a bit further away. So once that seed casing bursts open. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, very cool. Um, now, we're going to keep moving on towards camp, but I have got, still got to tell you what the not-so-nice common name